Aloha kakahiaka means good morning to you. Aloha kakahiaka, ohayo gozaimasu. Zao shanghao and good morning to my jams and jellies. My name is Jelly Jamie Jam. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to be seeing one of my best friends that I have not seen in so many years. I am going to be go meeting him and we're going to be going to Ola Moana shopping center together in a couple of hours. So in the meantime, I am in the Hawaii Kai Town Shopping Center. I went to get myself some yummy breakfast. This is what I usually get the McDonald's. It is the Spam Eggs and Rice Platter. Um, when I don't get the Spam Eggs and Rice, I usually go for the hot cakes because both are absolutely yummy. And I always get a large iced coffee. Today is my cheat day. I really only get fast food once a week, sometimes even less than that. Um, and I typically only eat one to two meals a day because I am working out, getting swole, and I am happy to announce I am officially at 135 pounds. I am five foot seven inches tall. I am so proud of my journey. So today is my cheat day. We are going to be eating so much at All Amana Shopping Center today. And I also got me just one other little hash brown. So that's really all I eat. I am going to put some salt and pepper on my eggs and rice and I will see you all very, very, very soon. Hey guys, so I just parked at Alamona Shopping Center. I'm waiting for my best friend to get here. However, why don't we take a little walk? I don't know if I'll be filming this time. I have been to Alamona before where I have vlogged. Those videos will be in the cards above. So, without further ado, I can't wait to introduce you to my best friend. You wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> So I am back from my day with Fish. Yes, his name is Fish. And we went to do quite a bit of shopping. He got some things, but I am rather excited to show you what I bought as usual. So without further ado, first up, let's start with the smallest purchases. I always bring a reusable bag. I went to the, I believe it was Hick, and I got me two things, both of them are from Roxy. I got me some new shorts, as well as a new shirt. It is a rather nice gradient of blues. Blue is my favorite color, so I will go try it on now. All right, so this is the blue Roxy set that I bought. And shirts, shirt. What do you guys think? I like it, it is summer and I have not owned Roxy in quite some time. So this is all I bought from Hick and let's move on to what else I bought. The next store that we went to is Box Lunch at Alamona Shopping Center and I got me some Sour Patch Kids that are berry flavored. 
So I'm gonna be munching on that while I show you what else I bought them box lunch. Next up from box lunch, I got me a shot glass. They wrapped it in tissue paper that has their own name on it. There we go. So let me show you which shot glass I got. And I got myself a PlayStation one and a half ounce shot glass. This was $6.90. The next item that I bought from Box Lunch is from the series Avatar The Last Airbender. It is the Jasmine Dragon Tea House Sippy Cup. I am a child. <laughs> But now my baby duck one has a new friend. The last four items from Box Lunch are four shirts. The first one is from the series Inuyasha. I highly recommend reading and watching it. The next three shirts are from Animal Crossing and I purposely got them a little larger so that I can wear mostly as pajamas. On one of the sleeves are the fruits. The last items in my bag are from Hot Topic. I love Hot Topic. I have loved Hot Topic before the transition. I love Hot Topic now. And I can't wait to show you what I bought because I am in love with all of it. First up, we have a Hufflepuff mask. I have a lot of pride being a Hufflepuff and let me know in the comments down below if you are also a Huffle buddy of mine. Next up, I am putting this in my cart. It is a Dragon Ball Z air freshener and it is strawberry scented. If you know me, I love strawberries. Now I got myself two more shot glasses. The first one is because I was wearing a Princess Mononoke long sleeve shirt as well as the crystal dagger necklace. And the other is the dragon from Spirited Away. His name is Haku. His real name is Kohaku River. So this is the first one. And this is the Princess Mononoke one. I got myself three 
more pieces of jewelry. I got me an official padlock choker. And now I have two dragon necklaces. And I have a three piece set of assorted chains. One has a pink bear, the other has a metal heart, and the third is a simple chain. And I got myself four more tops. Naturally, I have a Hufflepuff one, and the strongest characteristics are dedication, patience, and loyalty. I got myself another tank top. This time it is collared and styled with the Marauder's Map. And these last two are completely nostalgic for me. We have Bratz. And of course, a nice, beautifully tie-dyed style Pop-Tarts. My favorite flavor of Pop-Tarts to buy is the s'mores. What is your favorite flavor of Pop-Tarts? Let me know in the comments down below. And so that is all that I bought from Hick, Box Lunch, and Hot Topic. However, I had to pay for this separately. I got a $60 anime mystery bag from Hot Topic. I am very excited to open it with you all. So the first item that I know, they clipped it to the bag, is this Dragon Ball keychain. So let's take that off. Oh, I hear some rattling. Oh, this is cute. What is it? It says a gift for you from Hot Topic, especially the at Hot Topic a la Moana. To you from someone who knows you really well, aka Hot Topic staff. That is so sick and sweet. I love this bag. It is covered in Hot Topic and skulls. Gorgeous. I have a toga magnet, the My Hair Academia. Oh! What is, is this, is this? Oh. Look at that design. Wow, I love that. I got two pop figurines. We have... Oh my god, it's a Dragon Ball Super 1 too. I don't know if any of you know this, I love Dragon Ball. As a matter of fact, I just bought this too. 
Amazing. So this is one. Oh my god, Junji Ito is an amazing artist and I just got one of his collections, Miss Fuji. Oh yes, please. This is ha Oh yeah, I love Junji Ito. Tomie is one of my favorites. Tomie. Tomie is one of my favorites. Oh, I am so happy I bought this. I got a fig pen of Goku too. This is well worth already the $60 that I spent because this is $12.50, $14.90, another $12.50, so that is $25 plus $39.90. This is already over $63 worth of stuff just with these four items. The shirt, the pin, and the two pops are already over $60. I absolutely scored and I am so happy. There's more stuff, yes! Cool, I got earphones! Awesome. I got new earphones, I got a patch of Young Goku that, yes, and the rattling is a whole bunch of pins. I love pins. We have some haiku ones. And we have some Oran High School Host Club. This is the Hitachin Twins, Hikaru and Kaoru Hitachin. Oh man, I don't have enough room for them. I even have a Food Wars one. I have a Hunter and Hunter one. Oops, I dropped the one. I dropped one. I dropped Canary. I have a Tamaki Suo, also from Oran High School Host Club. I have another Gon from Hunter and Hunter. And I have Bolin from Avatar Last Airbender, but it is the Korra one. Legend of Korra. Legend of Korra. I have Bolin from Legend of Korra. Like, oh my goodness, I got so many pins. I am so happy with this. This is absolutely amazing. I'm going to take a very quick break so I can brag to my siblings. <laughs> I have successfully bragged everything to my siblings. So now last but not least the Ross shopping haul. I promise this is going to be the last time I go shopping. Oh, anyways, uh, first up I got yet another new bag. I love bags. Next up, I got yet another arts and craft project. I know I have so many arts and craft projects lined up that I have yet to show you all, but I promise I do all of my projects. It's just a matter of getting it online for you all. So the first thing I got is the central perk from Friends, the television series. It is the DIY air dry clay desktop diorama kit. And I got me some proper brushes that are now labeled for somebody like me who has no idea what the brushes are, what the brushes are for. So I got the Eco Sanctuary Daily Rituals Makeup Brush Set. And it tells me what these brushes are, what they're for. So hopefully I can distinguish what my other brushes are for based off of what these are labeled as. And because I don't own really any actual sponges per se, I actually ordered a 48 piece of cosmetic sponges. And considering that it's 48 pieces for $4, <laughs> 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 
now getting into the bulk of what I bought. Um, for those of you who follow me on my social medias, link down below, either it's Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, I do a lot of weigh-ins um, on the first day of the month or the last day of the month. I can't recall which. Uh, either way, with my current weight loss, most of my clothes are rather large <laughs> on me. So I also want to show off my figure that I have. I am very proud of all of my hard work. So I exclusively got mostly tank tops and crop tops, something that I never wore prior at any point in time of my life. So I'm very proud and happy to show you all that I've bought. And I will be trying them on for you all here and now. So let's me get into position. Now, first up, we have a celestial moon and zodiac symbol shirt or tank top. It is very flowy and loose and on the back is a cute design. So let's get into this. This fits perfectly fine on me. I mean, yep, perfect. I am satisfied with it. Next up, we have a more crop top style. I really like this. It's blue butterflies. And the back has a very cute design on it. It is an open bag, something I would rarely wear as well. So let's get into this one. I love it. I do say Japanese style, so it makes things a little easier. The next top is a beautiful baby blue with a white daisy on the front. It's either Daisy or Cosmo, I can never tell the difference. So let's get this one on next. So this is the top on me. I think it's super cute. It has these very adorable sides. And yes, I am very satisfied with this one. I think it's super cute, super simple. Next up, we have a very pretty black top. So, let's jump into this one. I'm eager for this. I love this top. It is very cute, very snug. There's some better details on it. Yeah, simple black top. I love it. Now I have yet another black top. This one is designed more like a halter top. I have not worn a halter top in many years. I mean many years. So let's get into it. I am in love with this halter top. Just a little adjustments here and there, but other than that, I have absolutely no complaints. Yeah, no complaints at all. I loved it. So, this is something I am dying to try on. This is something that I have been working my confidence to, and it is a tube top. So, let's get into it. Hell yes. So, this is my very first tube top. Ten out of ten. I love it. So I am so happy. Next up we have a very nice island style. Since I do live in Hawaii, palm trees and coconut trees are not uncommon. I got me this little tank top with these cute trees on it. So let's get this one on. This is super cute. Yep, I love it. 
I have a feeling I'm going to be wearing these so often during summer because it is very, very, very hot here. Humidity, heat, it's crazy. So let's go with one, two, three, four, five, six. Lucky number seven. Seven more left, guys. Thank you so very much for sticking around this long. And since you're here this far into the video, you might as well hit that like button, consider subscribing, being part of the pantry, and hit that notification bell. So let's go a little backwards. I got this rather cute top. So let's get into it. All right, so here's this top. It's a bit snug on me, just a bit, but no other complaints. It looks super freaking adorable. So there's that. Next up, just for fun, where is my? I think this will look super cute with this and there is a very cute clip of a very young Tom Felton bragging about being Draco Malfoy because, in his own words, I get to be a baddie. Well, let's jump into this. I get to be a baddie. So I love this from head to toe. Next up, you gotta float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. So, we have some very cute bees. I'm gonna show off two. So, first. I think this one is super cute and I love the color, I love the design. Let's get into the second one. Here we go, it's a very pretty light purple color. And no complaints here. I think it's cute. The bottom design is a very cute little ruffle. So the next top is another tube top. This one is a little different. It has some very obvious designed clasp on the front. These are not actual functioning clasps. It is just for the design of it. But either way, let's get into this one. And here we go. It's cute. I think I might wear this with my platforms one day. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. This is the black tube top and I love it. You can actually see my tan. I've been going to the beach a lot more often and I actually do prefer wearing a one piece over a two piece. I'm not too sure why, but regardless, the next tank top slash crop top has the similar ruffle design as the two Bs, but this one is decorated with butterflies. So let's get into this one. And here are the butterflies. This one is by far one of the cuter ones. I love it. I think it's adorable. And I was worried about my skin tone going with it, but I actually think it looks really cute. Now, last but not least, last but not least, we have a cute, simple, all black tank top. So, let's get into it. Here we go, the last but not least simple black tank top. So, I love it. I have absolutely no complaints. The fabric is very, very, very nice. It is form fitting. And I think what I am proud of the most is I bought 99%, if not 100% of these from the medium section and being five foot seven, I'm extremely proud of myself to actually fit these clothes. I worked very hard to get to this point of my life and I'm not going to stop here. I'm still working out plenty and doing my very, very, very best to continue that journey. So thank you so very much for watching. If you made it to the absolute end of the video, I appreciate you so much. But of course, like the video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, leave me a comment down below of what you want to see next. 
consider subscribing, being part of the pantry, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. My name is Jelly Jamie Jam, and I will see you in the next video. Mahalo and ahui ho!